And when Daniel 6:20, and when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. He, he, his voice was afflicted, pity, like like desperate. Please, please. He, he wants this this one to be alive. This this his. You know, to to a, a king like. A righteous servant is worth a lot. You got so many people that are out to like put a knife in your back. And he and he's got this one who's loyal to him, who who even loves him. And that's like Christ with the apostles. Christ loved the apostles. And he cries out to him. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God. Is thy God, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? It's like us. He's going to find out. He's going to learn and, and see who God is. Because God's a, a, a deliverer of the righteous. This, this one Daniel is going to pass through death. Just like Christ was put into the tomb. And, and, and he went into death, and he went and, and, he, and he suffered and, and was afflicted, and then he defeated it. He, he came out of it. He was delivered through it. And, and we, see, we see this type here. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. And that's even like us. Live forever. Whosoever believeth in me shall have eternal life. We have eternal life in, in the resurrection of Christ, in the defeating, in the shutting of the lion's mouths. The lion's the ferocity, the power, the strength. It's like the strength of death. The, the, the power of despair. It, it takes everything. It's never satisfied. The hunger of the lion. A lion, you know, I don't know how many pounds of meat a lion needs a day, but it's a lot. Always hungry. For, ferocious, strong, vicious, powerful. It's like the power of death. Nothing gets away. No one defeats it. Why? Because we're all guilty. We're all... We can all be accused. We can all be pulled down by the conspirators, by the wicked, by the evil. But, the, but this one Daniel is a type for Christ. And that's why he was delivered. Because he's a, he's a, he foreshadowed Christ. It wasn't even because Daniel was perfect, because he certainly wasn't. He was a sinner. But God's going to shut the mouth of death. But he says, King, live forever. Have eternal life because I've been I've been delivered. He's innocent. Mark sixteen seven. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Because he he came through. They didn't even think he was going to be alive. They're just like the, the, the king here who, who is amazed. They, they didn't think he would make it through. Now when Jesus was risen early in the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went away and told them that he, that he had been with them as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive and, and had been seen of her, and had been seen of her, believed not. They don't even believe that, he's, that, he, that he came out of that. They didn't even know what was supposed to happen. They're learning. And then these, are, these aren't Gentiles. These are Jews. And, and they're the people that, that he, he, he was... They're the nation that he's resurrecting here. And they're, they're having a harder time believing than, than that Gentile king. Because they, they didn't know what was supposed to happen. They didn't really understand. But these in retrospect, these types, 
type this Daniel here, he, that, that's what that, that was about, that what Daniel went through. It was about Christ in that tomb, in the, in the lion's den, in the place of death. And they didn't even believe when, when, when it was all over. It took them a while. It took, they believe it took a it took a little while to sink in. After that, he appeared in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue. They they went and told the rest of the apostles, and they didn't even believe. They thought they were kidding or something, you know. They didn't realize that that what that was about. That God, that He would resurrect out of that, and and and, but He's taken the place of us, just like that king who screwed up, who was puffed up, who messed up, who 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 stepped in it. And when we see this even nowadays, like politicians, they'll you, you know they'll, they'll step in it, and, and and they'll say the wrong thing, they'll say something politically incorrect, and next thing you know, they took it out of context, and 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 they got it planned on every radio station you know one little mistake but that but that's how it is with the law that's how it is with death and we have accusers that's what the word devil means it's dia diabolos in the greek and it means a slanderer it means an accuser a prosecutor one who's looking to condemn you looking to find one little slip up that's all it took for this but this one daniel took his place. He had to go through it. He had to put the man in the, in the lion's den, put him to death, sentence him to death. But the righteousness, the innocency, God delivers the innocent. And that innocency delivered the reign of this king. He, he spared him. He, this king, through this experience, came to know the, the, the God of Israel. It was God's will. That this Gentile king would know him. My God had sent his angels. His, this is Daniel talking. My God had sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth that they ha have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me and also before thee, O king, I, ha I have done no hurt. Christ, this Daniel is a sinner. We're all sinners. This, but he, had, he, he was innocent of the charge. But, but Christ is innocent of, was innocent of everything. Anything, any wrongdoing whatsoever, and God delivered him because of that innocency. Death couldn't hold him. It had no claim to him. And this king's going to find out who the God of Israel is. Then the king, then was the king exceedingly glad for him and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of hurt was found upon him. Because he believed in his God. He was delivered by faith. He came through it. This, the, the, the God of Christ, the God of Israel, the Creator, who created everything, delivers innocence, loves innocence. But we, none of us had that, none of us can claim that. Only through Christ. Because Christ would take our place, just like the king that messed up, that's us. And, and Christ is going to take our place. Who, who spoke the truth that he would raise up the temple in three days and they convicted him for that because they didn't understand, because they were ignorant. Because they, they didn't have eyes that see, they didn't understand the types. They didn't understand what he was about. Daniel 6, 26, I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, and his dominion shall be even unto the end. This is the God. This is the one that delivers. This is the one that reveals this is the one that showed him, that delivered his righteous servant. <laughs>